Hi, in this video we're going to create the uh, layout that you see on the screen here. So I'm taking a piece of video from when we're done. When we're finished we will have a username, age, and picture number, entry data point, and then you can see the text uh, edit texts are named like they are in the standard form, ET underscore. And so the top picture is just a placeholder, it's an icon. Okay, so it's time to get started with the person entry form. So you can see on the screen I have the last video's work where we have a single line entry. So we're going back into the layout and we're going to create a new layout resource file. So I'm going to name this as add person form. Now you notice here that the type of layout is set to constraint. Normally I would change this to linear layout and then move on. But many times I forget. So I'm going to show you if you forget to change this you can modify it at a later time. So let's leave it alone for right now. Click OK. So here's my new layout. You can see it's set to constraint layout. So I'm going to use a different type of layout here. So I'm going to convert this now into what's called a linear layout and click apply. And so now it says linear layout horizontal. Let's see what a horizontal linear layout does. So I'm going to delete these buttons in a moment, but let's see what happens. So if I drag a button under the screen, you can see it automatically occupies the entire width of the screen. I'll put another one below it, but actually it doesn't go below it. This is called the linear layout, so everything is lined up from left to right. If I keep putting more out, it will keep lining them up on one line. So we're looking for a linear layout that is vertical. So I'm going to select all these and delete them and then try again. So let's go back to linear layout horizontal and convert it. So right click, choose linear layout, convert orientation to vertical. Okay, so now let's try it again. This time I'm going to actually build the form. So we'll drop in an image view to start with and we'll pick a picture for it. So one of my icons and OK. Once again, it fills up the entire width of the screen. This time, though, we're going to put in a text item and plain text underneath it. And you can see that the vertical orientation will now start to stack the items on top of each other. So you can see that a, a linear layout is good for items that are like stacked top to bottom. So we are going to have three entry points here for data. So let's put out three edit texts. Now they all say name on them right now for text fillers, so we'll have to change that. First of all, let's give these uh, different uh, IDs. So let's start with the image view. So I'm going to rename the ID as IV underscore person icon. And then for the edit text, the first one, let's change him to ET underscore, and let's just call it name. The next one is the ET underscore age. And then finally I'm going to call the last one ET underscore picture number. Let's change the text inside of here so it doesn't say name for everything. So I find the property called text and change it from name to empty. Now I'm looking for the hint. So down below hint we can put in there as a value for name. So hint doesn't get in the way of the user when he's doing input. So for the other two, I'm going to delete their text, change the first one to say the hint is age. And then for picture number, I'm going to also delete the text and change the picture number uh, hint so that uh, people know that they're supposed to put a number. Okay, so that pretty much uh, creates the uh, text entry form that we need. And so in the next video, we'll start working on some Java code.